2014 is going to be an incredible year for car dealerships. Uh, over the last several years, we've seen a, a huge progression with automobile dealerships focusing their strategy in digital and really focusing on how to win the click. What we see in 2014 is really a, a refinement year. And what I mean by that is what dealerships used to do to have a competitive an advantage, like taking more photos and pricing their vehicles competitively and writing a comment are now things that the vast majority of dealerships are doing. So it seems to me that dealerships are really focused in 2014 on taking it to the next level and they're doing this by building relevancy. And it's, it's something that we're proud to be uh, a, a really big part of in helping dealers achieve their goals. Let's look at a website like Amazon. You know, at the end of the day, it's easy to find what you're looking for. They show you popular products that are in demand. They show them to you competitively priced. But most importantly, when you click on that product to learn more information, everything they're showing you is relevant. So to answer your question, what should we be focusing on? I think the industry has spent a lot of time on, on and almost abused what we would call transparency. Transparency is key, but a lot of dealerships have viewed transparency as nothing more than their pricing. And the reality is, is that consumers are looking for a good deal. They're not just looking for the lowest price. And a good deal means a lot more than price. Price is just one factor. So to us, it's a big, it's a big thing to consider that value is far more than just price. And the dealership's embracing this and showing relevant content like photos that actually matter, comments that promote value option and even the reconditioning attributes. I mean, think about reconditioning in general. Reconditioning is something that the average dealership spends over $700 doing, yet this information isn't displayed anywhere digitally. And that's just one way that our Pure Cars Valley reports have helped thousands of dealerships. And there's a lot of things that are relevant that dealerships are gonna do and make it their own way. But the best way to summarize what a dealership should be focused on in 2014 as it relates to relevancy is thinking about the top concerns of a shopper and answering these concerns in a quick and concise way and making sure it's easy for them to find it on their digital properties, including their own website. The mission at Pure Cars is to provide more relevant information to improve the car buying experience. So this has been our our focus since the company was founded in 2007. With that said, our value reports core focus is on a dealership's website. So when a consumer is viewing a used vehicle details page, they can see graphically represented with relevancy factor, the top value option, even reconditioning highlights. From there, we expanded into listing sites and we did this through their comments. So Smart Comments takes this graphical representation of our value report and creates a beautifully written used car comment that includes the reconditioning highlights like new tires and brakes along with other value and option highlights. And when I say option highlights, I don't mean saying that it has an AM, FM radio and ABS brakes and body color side molding. I mean that it's a four by four with leather, nav and sunroof. So we understand relevancy and actually have studied over 60,000 options and ranked it. So those those two products help significantly. Now, Smart Advertising is a full digital ad package that helps dealerships make sure that they're shown on, on Google and throughout websites using our retargeting platform that was developed in-house. And as a result, if you never guess at the right message, you've mastered relevancy and win the click every time. And that's what dealerships across the country are reporting back to us on Smart Advertising and all of the data proves it. Now, last but not least, Chuck, uh, the trade-in report. You know, it, it's, it goes hand in hand with relevancy, considering that almost half of every shopper has a trade, giving them a trade-in value quickly, in fact, in 30 seconds or less, is very relevant and something that is prominently displayed across the smart advertising platform and subscribing dealers' websites. So everything we do today and everything we do in the future is all around the relevancy race and we believe our solutions put our dealerships ahead of the rest. The reality is, is, as car dealers, we're not Amazon. We don't have millions of different SKU numbers in warehouses filled with robotics. However, we can learn from it, and we can learn from it because the way consumers behave, the way they shop in particular, they don't change when they shop for an automobile. In fact, it's amplified because the second largest purchase they make is an automobile besides a home. 
So what we can learn from Amazon is actually looking at how they display content and trying to apply it to ourselves. Simple things like photos. You'll find that the best retailers in the world think about the order of their photos. They don't just show 13 different shots of the wheels after the first front quarter panel of a car. They would actually think, what does the consumer want to see? Is it a high content vehicle? Then great, let's consider more of it. And then when you start looking at other things that Amazon and other great retailers do, and you start looking at relevancy, the information above the fold is always relevant. And when you look at what our value reports have done for thousands of dealerships, it's to, it's to promote just that. Since we don't control the website providers and there's a lot of limitations with the data that the inventory and VIN-based technologies can, can generate, we've taken that information and created pure cars data, which we graphically represent. So now if Chuck, if, if at your dealership, you got to use Tahoe, we can show you the top value option and even reconditioning highlights. And as a result, it can set your vehicle apart from a lower content vehicle that may have been a rental car in its formal life. So Amazon is something that I don't want dealers to think that we're, pro we're proposing that the consumer is going to just buy a vehicle online and it's going to be shipped to them. That's not the point of studying Amazon. It's to study how consumers shop and using this information to make dealerships technology stronger and making it more relevant because that's what, that's what Amazon is all about from what they stock, how they stock it, how you search and what you see. I was at the best training day as, as an attendee in the audience last year and, and brought several of my team members and we were absolutely wowed by the event. I mean, the professionalism, the, the, the group of speakers and last year I wasn't a part of it. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick to these guys. They're the best of the best. And just sitting around friends and clients that are dealers that went there to learn, to see how many pages of notes they took and how many action items they had to implement when they left was absolutely incredible. You know, as, as, as a company focused on providing more relevant information, we've applied our, 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 present, our content. And really my presentation is about how do you use relevant information? How do you make it stronger on your digital to win the click? And, and that's what our presentation is, is all about. And in terms of, of marketing, you know, it's, it's something that I absolutely love the car business and enjoy working with dealerships. So I feel absolutely privileged that I was asked to be one of the, the leaders uh, presenting to, to the dealerships on, on our respective expertise, which is relevant content to improve the car buying experience. We will have a, a, a display during the breaks and several other of, of our team members will be present. And we're just going to be using the time to, to talk to dealers and actually diving deep into their current strategies and talking to them about who they plan on seeing at NADA and, and does it really fit into the mission? I think one thing early on that I'm presenting uh, to, to the dealers is the big picture. And the big picture is what is your digital focus? What is your digital strategy in 2014? And then everything from there gets more refined with an actionable list for them to, to follow up with when they get back to their stores. As a privately held company, clearly we don't disclose our, our whole playbook, but what I will tell you is the growth that we had in 2013, we expect to accelerate that even further in 2014. And we're absolutely here to continue to be the leader in helping show more relevant information to improve the car buying experience, enhancing all of our technologies to continue to keep them as the pioneer. And as a result, providing more, re more return on investment to our dealers. And most importantly, by providing this information to the consumer and making them realize that value is far more than just price, it's extremely beneficial to the consumer and to the dealers. So there'll be a lot of exciting things we'll continue to, to pioneer in 2014 and, and lead the pathway.